Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. I have a small haul for you. I don't do many haul videos. I don't usually get a lot of books at one time. This is my spring book haul. Some books I've got over the last couple of months and I can show them to you now. Here we have Rudyard Kipling, something to myself. Uh, as a child I read the Just So stories and the Jungle Book, but I don't think I've read Kipling for about 50 years now. So I had this for people April, I got this at the Tbilisi Book Swap, but I haven't got to it yet. Catherine Cookson, The Dwelling Place, I found this in a second hand shop in Tbilisi when I worked at Slough Public Library as a Saturday assistant. Between 1981 and 1983, Catherine Cookson was the author that would always rush off the shelves most quickly. In fact, when we got Catherine Cookson in, we usually didn't have time to shelve it before someone else would take it out. Uh, this looks like historical fiction and family drama. So I haven't read any Catherine Cookson. You can let me know in the comments below what you think of my haul, if you've read any of these and what you'd recommend. Something else from the second hand shops was this. The Poems and Songs of Robbie Burns, or Abby Burns. It's a long way from Burns Night, that was back in January, and poetry is not really my comfort zone, but I can give it a go. And then this one I'm looking forward to reading. This is Clara and the Sun by Kazu Ishiguro. This is about an AF, an artificial friend, which is the Clara of the title. The Sun, she is solar powered. And it sounds a fascinating story. I got this last night at the Tbilisi Book Swap. So thank you to Ellie and Simon for this. And uh, Simon also gave me this. He said, if you like stories about the Irish, this might interest you. I do like reading about Ireland and the Irish. This is Actress by Anne Enright, winner of the Man Booker Prize. Um, I've never heard of it before, but it's on my haul. Then I have a couple of Georgian books. This is a novella called Iggy. And... Iggy is in part of a Stone Age tribe, and the, most of the tribe is stooped down, but Iggy wants to stand up straight, and the chief won't let him go on the hunt, and it's a very contemplative story. Iggy's trying to find out who he is, and why he feels his sadness, and many other things. Uh, the Georgian Reviewers on Goodreads have all rated this very highly. Another Georgian book is this one, Small Town Tales by Guram Petrashevili, which was translated this year by Ekaterina Machtidze, which is probably not a good sign because she also translated this one, The Secret of Another Desert, which is very poorly translated. What can we do? Uh, this month is also Georgian Independence Day on the 26th of May, so it'd be a good time to read some Georgian literature. So, that is my haul. If you've read any of these, you can let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. Uh, I'll let you know what I think of them soon. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. That will help the algorithm, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.